Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We did a vlog, so this video come back. Is it a good morning? It's raining. I hope you're having a good morning. Yeah. Because we are packing up our beautiful Wilderness Lodge studio, and it's raining. But I actually like like the cool Florida rains. Yeah, and this is very like Pacific Northwest vibes. <laughs> Who's that heavy kid? I have to go pick up our breakfast. <laughs> um, and a cart to schlep all of our stuff. Yesterday we had a foggy morning and today we've got a very cool rainy morning. But I love this vibe. Oh, it's kind of foggy over there in the trees. Very Pacific Northwest, as Sarah said. Well, at least it's warmer, it's warmer this morning than yesterday. Say in the 60s. Yeah. It's 45. I took the long way to the lobby to go to Roaring Forks because I wanted to walk down the stairs and enjoy my favorite lobby of my favorite resort. Just a little extra. Oh, so wonderful. So gorgeous. This is like one of my favorite weathers outside. This is why I think I would thrive in Seattle. So I'm gonna see, I picked up the food. I'm gonna go see if I can get a cart from Bell Services to load up all of our stuff. Our room is on the other side of there. It's been great. Very sad. Getting very, very sad. But I'm excited to see Evie. Ooh, owls. Is that a cute kid? Oh, gosh. yourself pretzels <laughs> we're rubbing the salt in the wound by having the 50th anniversary special that they that they play a couple times on the resort tv on but we have some bananas foster that's mine and we have like a breakfast sandwich French toast, right? Yeah, banana sauce French toast. And Sarah's got some hash and a breakfast sandwich. And we got this bagel for Jamesy. You love it? Yeah. Usualness, it's almost done snowing. It's raining already. It's raining. Ooh. It literally like stopped. Yeah, it was like. The wind was going, and it was pouring. <laughs> James, he was going to sacrifice his bagel. For the rain gods. <laughs> this is a good one. A good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's for James. Oh, it's a bit of a big bite. All right, one last little peek off our beautiful balcony. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. A beautiful room. We're all packed. We have the baby in the stroller. We Can't cannot forget, forget our plant that we this brought. This is my mom's like precious ivy plant, so we brought it with to make sure it was okay. <laughs> it's like 19 years old. Yeah. yeah. So we wanted to make sure. <laughs> Not yeah. strange at all. <laughs> and then there's our bell cart full of our stuffs. We're going to make our way down and pack up the car. Bye. Oh, yeah? Go? Here we are, the greatest lobby in all the land. I can't wait for t the day to do another trip here, full on, no work, not even the littlest bit, no worry in the world, and to stay in this place just for a whole like week. Uh, 
I love spending like late, late nights, like 11 p.m. with an empty lobby just by one of the fireplaces. It's just the best. Dad is loading up the car. So we're gonna do a quick wilderness lodge, lobby, and outside appreciation lap before we go. So, they do not have the robe I wanted. We are gonna stop at the Grand Floridian to grab one of their robes. But I did get this hat for Peter and I to share. Um, so that's exciting. It's like this nice like brown and denim. We don't have a lot that color. Um, but you know, you know our, our fountain kid. I'm gonna bring him to the waterfall. It's still rainy, a little chilly, but just soaking in the last little bit before we're in the car. Really quick, I feel the worst for James. Like he's felt crummy for a week. And now he finally feels good. He's himself, he's talking, he's playing. And he's gonna have to be stuck in a car for hours on end. Um, I just feel so bad for him. I know we're coming back soon, but like in the short term, right now, I feel bad for the kid. <sighs> we're going over the stream. That starts in the lobby. Isn't that cool? Look this way. Whoa! What? It's just the best view. All right, and one last look before we head back to the car. Whoa! Look at your hair. Look at your hair. Copper Creek Falls. Whoa. You don't wanna go? You say no, 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 I don't wanna go. And then the falls goes into the pool. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Okay, say bye bye. <laughs> so cool, right? You say bye bye? Goodbye, Wilderness Lodge. You were great. Alrighty, we're coming for Evie. Evie's actually in one of these out indoor outdoor vacation villas on this side. Ooh. And you could sneak a peek if you were sneaky about it, but we should go get her. Let's go on that hit, Evie. She's in Villa 13. Can't wait, concert is gonna meet me back here to let, get her out. It is. She's so happy. So here's our TV setup and her bed and her outdoor. Oh, oh. I missed you. I missed you. All right, we got Evie girl back in the car. I missed you. Sarah picked up her robe from uh, Grand Floridian. We're gonna hit the road. Alrighty, we're at our first stop. Jamesy's been snoozing the whole time. Hey, Evers, did you miss Jamesy too? All right, here we go. Thank you for visiting Florida. Bye, Florida. We'll miss you, but we'll see you in about four weeks. Bye, Florida. Not a tackle all of Georgia. We Sarah reserved a bit Airbnb, so we have a bed tonight, but it's all the way on the north side of Georgia. Chattanooga's out of Georgia, right? Yeah, just over the border. Just over the border. So we have all of Georgia to tackle today. You driving? Gotta yeah, fix your mirrors? Yeah. Yeah, it's cold here. It's now 34. We are 60-ish miles south of Atlanta. It is snowing out now. And we're getting some gas and bathroom break, maybe some food. Sarah ran into the bathroom first, so I got these two goons with me. What are you doing? Are you gonna turn on the windshield wiper? Yeah. Are you driving? Yeah. You say, hey, get out of my way. Yeah. All right, I believe we're like between two and three hours away from Chattanooga, which is where we're staying tonight. Um, we did have a couple of questions about asking about road tripping with a baby slash 
toddler and we by no means are experts this is our third oh, third trip um third road trip with him evie might be too upset but i would say that we keep things simple and i can show a little bit but we have an iPad set up for James to watch movies. We have easy access snacks and bottles. So he like is regularly consuming. Like he's, he is a hungry kid. And so I feel like that, that's like a big thing is that like I can keep him content with just like giving him little, little sneaky snacks. And then he also sleeps really well in the car and that's yeah. not, the case for <laughs> all kids. He's, he just got mad at Eve for stepping on the cooler. Um, so like today, like we got in the car, he immediately fell asleep. So he, he is prone to sleeping in the car and he'll sleep long stretches, but we also make sure that we like get out of the car and like have him not be in the seat for too long either. And I think that that keeps him happy too. Um, so I can show you a few more things, but again, it's like simple. It's keep him fed, keep him entertained, and keep him comfy to sleep. I also think it helps that we usually break our trip into two not super long days. So like, even though it is long, like we're like eight, nine hours in the car, it's not, it's not too overwhelming. We always, we always stop. We don't do like what Peter and I used to do when it was just us, like power through. Stopping really helps all, all parties involved. Ooh, it is snowing. Well, it's, it's that weirdness where like the ground, ground temperature is not freezing, but the air is, so it's snowing, right. but it's not collecting. Yeah, it's beautiful. We're like a little over an hour away from our Airbnb. Yeah. We cozied in for the night. What are you, what are you screaming about? You, you fight and sleep? <laughs> oh. We made it to Chattanooga. He was doing research on local art, mm -hmm. historical places around the city. So here's our little Airbnb. We gotta watch this. All of the photos are from local photographers in Chattanooga. So it has a nice little island table. Full kitchen in there there's laundry which is great games full bathroom and the bedroom it's in a duplex so there are two units and both are on Airbnb but perfect for what we needed and I booked it like oh no just a couple hours ago because with the weather, we weren't sure like when we would stop or what but whatnot. It's further than I expected us to get, so that's pretty good. Yeah. And it's what time? 6.45? Yeah. We're gonna order pizza, I think, because Sarah's got some yeah. pregnancy crazy. <laughs> I saw Papa John's on the way here and I was like, I need it. Okay, I will say I'm a big fan of these these like some of them are on are on like a glass finish some of them are on like a metal finish of these photos and uh for a simple little airbnb this place is really really great i love the kitchen that's in the middle of the apartment because like here's one bed it's only one bedroom one bath but like i love kitchens like this that you kind of walk through but i'm a big fan of like the chic but modern vibe they've got going on they've got all these little like metal like rustic but cool pieces of artwork and then just like a lot of chattanooga flair um really really great for one quick night this is a little concerning it's really cool but for a 15 month old it uh moves it's on giant casters i'm trying to trying to convince her to let us watch boss baby but she says no oh yeah because we weren't vlogging then i got up <laughs> I got obsessed with the Boss Baby series. I've never seen the movies when we were in our fever dazes at our second Airbnb. I watched two seasons of it. One last thing. Um, I don't know if Moon Pies are a chat and everything, but they sent out two Moon Pies with the coffee. But they also had this little like doggy situation. Bowl, blankets, baggies, and a treat. Two treats for Eve. How nice. You enjoying those, Eve? Evie girl? 
Oh yeah. All right, according to the three places listed on our little owner's guide, this is the best pizza in Chattanooga. Southside pizza. We got cheese. And one size margarita, yes. Oh, and some garlic nuts. Mm -hmm. And a very excited baby. Today, like, felt really good. Like, we were just talking about how it just was. I wasn't gonna say anything until like tomorrow because uh, I hope we didn't just jinx tomorrow, but today yeah. did go well. It went by fast. Like, yeah. we, we took our, our time. Well. Yeah. It's good to be home. Good to be home. Good morning from the road. We are on day two of our road trip and we are headed towards Nashville. It's still pretty dark. For 7.15, the sun will rise soon for our drive through the mountains. Oh, really? <laughs> climb, climb, climb. Peter's got Evie outside. Okay, Evie's back with us. Um, we drove through a snowy Nashville, which we have never seen before. I know that snow is not typical for this area. Um, so that was cool. We are back in central time zone. Um, ride's been good so far. What? We gonna get you out of PJs? You eating pretzels for breakfast? We've been bringing back foods, simple foods for Jamesy. I think, I think we are finally past this bug. Like, totally. What resource is this? I feel like I did the same thing to the Illinois. Illinois River. Are you over this road trip? Alrighty, we made it. The land of Lincoln. I was just about to say that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> What's it's like a five, six hour drive from here? Yeah. Last state. Alright. We're in north southern Illinois, if that makes sense. We needed gas and we needed to give the babe a break from the car seat. We have this new car big kid car seat in our mailroom right now. Anyway, we got three hours left. Peter's been a rock star. He's doing this whole drive. Eve has been loud the past three minutes. Uh oh, we're in Fruit Loop back here. James, James had his first Fruit Loop. He's a fan. That was the noise what happens when you take James's Fruit Loops away. So, lesson, lesson to the wise don't take his Fruit Loops. Just like that, we are back in the best city and best skyline in the world. It's 3.35. I did not think we'd get home before sunset, so this is a huge win. We just have to get home and unpack now and relax and order out some delicious food. We're home! We are not unpacked. We, on we only brought in like a backpack um, inside because we just need to get out of the car and get inside. But we've gone through the mail, run a couple of the faucets. Toys yeah, he's, he's, like, he's very excited to be with his toys again. Yeah. And what was waiting for us is James's new car seat. Same brand as that, Nuna, but it says like one that he's gonna be in until, until he's like out of it. It goes all the way to booster seat. What did we order? I don't even know what this place is called. Nola Kitchen, the Cajun oh, food. What? I think I've heard of this place. Clark and Sheffield. Clark probably seen it then. There's your gumbo. <gasps> Ooh, I've been I've been wanting gumbo ever since. There's fried pickles. Ooh, we watched Queer Eye. Here's fried pickles. Here's Gator Bite. Peter got a fish. 
Po' boy. I got chicken tenders. We got a lot of food for two people. Jamesy. back tomorrow is back to Chicago normalcy actually we have a doctor's appointment I have to go back to work after my week off so that's kind of a bummer um James is having a little bit of a hard time transitioning back to his room in his crib so hopefully it's a smooth night um thanks for following along with our Florida adventures we should have a an update soon on when we return for princess marathon or princess we can. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.